you've got to come up with a lot of nice, unique things to, to keep them on uh, on your side. Got to have that environment that they want to be in. It's only going to be successful if everybody's enjoying their position, enjoying their job. Hi, this is Ted Kelly with another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Hey, today our awesome guest is Erin Roberts. She is the Director of Operations for Marriott International in Des Moines, Iowa. And she is going to come on and share with us all of the wonderful things that's going on in Des Moines. She's going to talk a little bit about her career and hospitality. And we're going to have a grand old good time. Hey, Erin, how are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me today. I really appreciate the opportunity. Well, well, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. We're always interested in hearing how hospitality is doing in all the places across the country and the world. And you give us an opportunity to learn a little bit about Des Moines, Iowa and uh, Marriott International and your world, Director of Operations. But before we do that, tell our viewers a little bit about you. You know, you always uh, wanted to be in hospitality, born and raised in in Iowa, or give us a little background. Okay. Um, I was born and raised in Iowa. Um, I've had the opportunity to live on both coasts. Uh, I did come back to Iowa to raise my kids. I have four kids um, that are all grown and gone now. So I have an opportunity to do a little bit more in my career, maybe a little more travel, maybe a little more opportunity with Marriott, um, relocation and things of that nature. Um, two of my kids are still in college, two are grown, done with college. Um, one started his own business, so I'm very entrepreneurial spirit. Um, to be honest, Marriott wasn't always on my radar. Um, I got into it in the 90s and I just really enjoyed it. Um, I did take some other opportunities, but I always found myself coming back to Marriott. Um, about two years ago, I did try to retire and I just found that I didn't have my time filled and I just love hospitality. So when the opportunity to come back to Marriott came up, I jumped at the chance and came right back to the hotel. So it's just a great place to work. I just really love it. Um, I enjoy it. If I could get my kids involved in it, I sure would. <laughs> oh, that, is, that is awesome. You know what the old saying is, you either love hospitality or you hate it. So obviously it sounds like you love it. <laughs> I do very much so. <laughs> so, so tell yes. us what's a what's a day in the life for you at Marriott in Iowa in Des Moines? Um, here in Des Moines, we do a lot of special corporate um, and group. So a lot of our business is repeat business. People we know, people we have relationships with. Um, Des Moines is also a great place for youth sports. So there's a tremendous amount of youth sports here. Um, I think it's a hidden gem. I don't think people really know a lot about Des Moines, but once they get here, they go, hey, this place is really great. Uh, I really enjoy it here. We have a skywalk system, so you can walk building to building, um, even in those sub-zero temperatures. Uh, so it's very easy to get around the city, especially the downtown area. Um, I just really enjoy being here. I like everything the city has to offer. It's great for young professionals. We have really great school systems. Um, so the hotel business that does come here on the one-off a lot of times tends to rebook here because they just really enjoy the ease of the city. Um, we also have a tremendous amount of standalone restaurants. So there's a lot of opportunities in the food world here that you wouldn't expect in middle America. So Marriott's trying to take advantage of that. Um, we do have a bar restaurant that's called Mash and Marrow. So it's kind of off of the marrow uh, bone, and then we do a lot of smoke drinks. So maybe some upscale items that you might not expect in Des Moines here. We're trying to do it, the Des Moines Marriott downtown, just to, to give it a little bit of a more polished feel. Um, as far as a day in the life, being a director of hotel operations is very, uh, put the fire out when you come in and then kind of prioritize your day from there. And that's probably the thing I enjoy most. Um, no two days are ever alike. Uh, a lot of opportunities to solve problems or come up with new ways of doing things, which which I really enjoy. I like to make change when there's the opportunity. Um, this particular hotel I'm at has had a very successful year. Um, in 2023, we drove the highest AES, uh, ESS and GSS scores. So the management team has a lot to celebrate here. 
And we put in a lot of hard work and effort. Um, lots of times you'll hear people refer to us as a family as opposed to a team. Uh, so that makes it a really good feeling. And it just gives me a lot of time to spend with my people being in operations because I just spend a lot of the time on the floor. Yeah, that is awesome. So I, I, I assume that you guys got a, a nice little uptick due to the Caitlin Clark uh, phenomenon that kicked in <laughs> with the University of Iowa, right? Um, yep, she actually was here for an event um, for an Iowa game, and we had Special Olympics, and she stopped and took the time with all of the kids. It was it was really amazing to watch that. Yeah. I mean, hear about these people out in the world, and then when you get to see them in action, it's something that I share with everyone. She was very gracious to everyone, the kids with the Special Olympics group, which I'm so excited to see her. So, yeah, it, she was here, and we really had a good experience with her. Yeah, yeah, I I think she's an yeah. awesome, uh, awesome player. It sounds like she's a, a pretty nice uh, human being as well from some of the stuff I guess. <laughs> In my experience, very much so, yes. <laughs> so what, what's some of the challenges that you guys face? I mean, I know we're coming kind of on the back of COVID now. Things seem to be trying to return to some type of normalcy. Uh, you know, what, what's some of the challenges that you're seeing and some of the leftover lingering effects of um, of COVID? Um, I think the challenges are the flexible work arrangements. Um, I think we've met that head on. I think Marriott's met that head on. Lots of opportunity to maybe start your day in the office and finish it after an appointment. Um, lots of scheduling opportunity with coming in late or leaving early based on picking up kids or dropping them off. Um, I think you do just have to stay flexible in that space. Um, I think hospitality is also difficult for maybe some of our younger folks, just with that face-to-face -face interaction and that frustrated guest maybe is something they haven't experienced. So I think you have to be available for those times and kind of take the, I say take the bullets as they come for those younger leaders and model that behavior so they can see it. Um, but just getting them comfortable in that space and having the conversations, picking up the phone or going down and face to face. I think a lot of our younger generation is used to this text or messaging um, environment that they live in. And hospitality is really a face to face and fix it in the moment and take care of the folks and personalize the stay for them. So I think that's probably the challenge. But if we meet those younger leaders where they're at and then kind of help them into where we need them to be, I think they're really making that that uh, movement very easily. So, yeah, those would say the two biggest challenges in the hospitality space for us right now. Hey, Aaron, let me uh, take a second real quick to give my sponsor a shout out so they'll keep uh, they'll keep sponsoring the show. Otherwise, we may find we find ourselves in a pickle. Uh, THM View is this episode is being sponsored by Recover It. If you've ever experienced a home fire, tornado, or other weather natural disaster, you know how easy it is to lose everything overnight. Well, the Recover It is a new app that allows you to record everything in your home, store it in the clouds for easy retrieval should disaster strike versus you trying to recall all of your household valuables and heirlooms. It allows you to settle your claims much faster with your insurance company. Check out the Recover It app today. Click on the promo code on screen and you'll get 50% off your first year subscription. And again, as always, we appreciate you guys following us here on LinkedIn. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. This episode with Aaron will also be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And as always, we appreciate all of your thoughts, comments, and feedback on each episode because we always strive to get better. All right. So, Aaron, tell me this. So for you guys, did you guys face or are you facing any labor shortages in Iowa, in Des Moines at all? When I first um, came to this hotel in July of 22, I would say we had some shortages, um, maybe in the management staff. Um, I think creating the environment that people want to work in has really given us an opportunity. Um, we've brought five managers back who left hospitality and we've brought them back in ranging from 10 years to two years of being outside of hospitality. But when the environment's there, people want to come join it. You have to be the employer everybody wants to be employed with. Uh, we've taken a lot of efforts in our housekeeping departments as well um, to be the employer of choice. 
So we've made sure that we're paying the right wage. Um, we offer free lunch, a lot of those uh, items that really assist in those hourly positions. Um, but we created the environment in the management and the hourly positions because we want the best people in town. So to be very honest with you, we have very minimal shortages. And if we do, uh, my big philosophy is who's next up. You should have your next one or two, even three people on the bench so that when that position comes open, they already know, they're already ready, and they're gonna step into it. So even if they're not working in your current hotel, if they're in your city or your community in any way, how do you have those folks on your bench? So you don't have those shortages and that lag and management, because when you sit for three or four months, it, it, it puts pressure on everyone else, and then that makes things difficult. And then by the time you get to new management or staff in, now you're training. So I, I'm just a big proponent on who's next up and, and having that network in your back pocket so that you're always, you know, have that next feeder person in that job. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. I like the way you uh, describe it, having people on the bench. You know, any, any coach always wants to have uh, like the development squad coming behind the starters. So I, I think that's a great way of describing it. And I think a lot of folks in the hospitality industries, particularly in the hotels, had to figure out ways to be creative and come up with perks to keep their people because, you know, I think COVID just really forced a lot of folks out of hospitality and they're they're not really in a big rush to come back necessarily. So you've got to come up with a lot of, of nice, unique uh, things to, to keep them on, the, on your side. Yep. Got to have that environment yeah, that yeah. they want to be um, in. Um, it, it's only going to be successful if everybody's enjoying their position, enjoying their job, knows their expectations. And then they're very much excited to help your guests. They're excited to do things for their staff, for the staff then is excited to do things for their guests coming through the door. So I think it all just very much trickles down and it's the environment is the most vital part of hospitality. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, well, kudos to you guys for that. Hey, are there any upcoming events in Iowa or there at the hotel that our viewers should know about so that if they're making their little final summer plans, hey, put Des Moines on the list because we're going to be in the area for some reason. Are there any upcoming events that they should know about? We have the Iowa State Fair. It's for 10 days in August. Um, it's the largest fair. We do get a lot of people from New York, California that get to come, but the Iowa State Fair is a big, big thing. Um, I believe it starts August 8th, but that's something. It also draws a lot of political folks. So we do get a lot of politics here. When we had caucus, I was involved in caucus for 20 years. Um, it will rival caucus with the political folks in town coming to start their campaign or just get a little bit of more support. So that's uh, across the boards, that's congressmen, that's representatives, that's everyone. But right now, this should be a year that we'll have maybe some good attendance in that space. Oh, wow. That sounds like that'd be great. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> yeah, we're very politically charged here in Iowa. <laughs> Well, Aaron, I thank you. I thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your time this morning. Always, uh, always good to learn and hear about uh, all of our great hospitality professionals in different areas of the country and find out what they're dealing with. And you obviously, Des Moines, Iowa is a place that I definitely have to put on my list of places to visit because I've never been there. So, uh, you, oh, you you'll have to come. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Now you've got my, uh, you've, you've piqued my interest. So I got to figure out a way to get through the morning. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity and congratulations to you on uh, your magazine cover. I heard today that you were on a magazine cover. So congratulations to oh. you, sir. That's a very big accomplishment. And Des Moines is always welcome to have anybody who wants to visit us. We, we love to have visitors. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Hey, again, this has been another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Please take a minute to check out the Recover It app today and get your 50% off uh, promo code and protect yourself, you and your family get uh, disaster should it strike. And as always, we ask that you subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, follow us here on LinkedIn, 
And this episode with Aaron will also be on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And as always, we appreciate all your thoughts and feedback. This has been another Ted's Hospitality Minute. We will see you guys next time. Take care. Ted's Hospitality Minute is sponsored by Recover It. Don't wait for disaster to happen to wish you had done this.